Hi dudes, it's Jemmy and we're at Avengers Campus in Disney's California Adventure Theme Park. It is my first time here and I want to do it all. The rides, the characters, the shows, the food. I am so excited to have myself an Avengers Campus day. So now let's get into it. Let's do Avengers Campus and let's go get into some hijinks. I'm about to walk into Avengers Campus for the very first time and they're playing the music and it's giving me all the feels. Oh my gosh, we're here at Avengers Campus. And there's Captain America. I can't believe I'm here. That's Avengers Headquarters. There's Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, former Tower of Terror, the Pim's Test Kitchen, where they make food really giant and really small. Web Slingers is over there. I cannot wait to do it all. The best part of Avengers Campus is obviously all the Marvel superheroes that are around that you can like meet, take pictures with, and that's great because we don't have any of this over on the East Coast because we don't have the rights to Marvel there. Universal does. I did get to meet Ant-Man and uh, Black Panther over on the Disney Wish cruise. I made 12 videos on the Disney Wish, by the way, you should go check those out. Um, so that was the first Marvel characters I got to meet, so I'm so excited that we're going to meet Captain America now. Hi, Captain Hi. America! It's so nice to meet you! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Demi. Strong name for a recruit. Thank yeah. you. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Nice. Thank you for traveling the multiverse today. I know multiverse travels a lot, so I'm glad you made it. It's a lot. It took a really long time to get back on like, you know, the right like on time right, schedule. I know it's a lot of multiverses it's, to pass through, so it's yeah. a, time a little bit to get used to it. Yeah, I think like my, my organs have just finally adjusted <laughs> inside of me. Especially if you go to the paint universe, you know you just pretty much turn to liquid. So that did happen. Back and forth from that, is that, a lot. that did happen at one point. <laughs> It was a little uncomfortable, I'm not gonna so lie. So what missions have you been up to today? Um, well, we just rode Radiate, uh, ra 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 the Spring, Radiate, <laughs> okay, I've heard of this mission. I can't speak, <laughs> I'm so, I'm so tired. Uh, because we've been, this is my first time here, and I'm nice. just so excited to see you. Nice, I'm so glad you're here. Yes. Also, I have a question. Yeah. Can you help us babysit Loki today? Absolutely. Um, we just need all hands on deck. Uh, he has to be on his best behavior here. Mr. Yeah. Stark does not play, so I, we all have to watch and make sure he's on his best behavior. I will watch him. <laughs> you got this. I got this. Thank you. I there appreciate it. Okay, that's important. <laughs> yeah. Okay, finally, let's do some training. Yeah. So like this, okay. Get muscles up for me, nice and strong. Like there that. There you go. Hey. Okay. Ice. One trend. Oh, I've been now, wanting to see this. This is the Dora Milaje show. It comes out a few times a day. Are you Pay attention. Mission. Uh, Captain America told me that I have to make sure to like babysit Loki today. So oh, if I see him I see around, is that court ordered? I didn't hear you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if it was court ordered. Uh, well, I mean, if it comes from Captain America, I feel like that's a given, right? <laughs> oh, so you just saw on a mission in your first time here at campus? Yes. Okay. What do, you, what do you think so far? Tony just redecorated a little bit. I think it's really swell. I'm, you know, I think it's it's really really nice. I think that there needs to be a second location. A rebuild of the one in New York because oh, right. I live in New York and that would be very convenient for me. I mean, oh, okay. we need another New York base. Yeah. Yeah, it's so loud, loud but... yeah. But no, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Yes. It's so good to meet. Can we take a picture? We are over at Avengers headquarters and there is Black Widow. This is Avengers Assemble Show. Intrusion alert, level two. Intrusion. 
disarmed. Sensor offline. Nothing to see here. Move along. Recruits. I've got this. Intrusion alarm level two. All units alerted. My turn. Everything okay? You need help? I don't need help! Yeah, I sent help. Intrude us! Set us! I won't ask a second time. I'm struggling to get up now. <laughs> this is so funny. I came over to the spot and I was like, is this where Iron Man meets? And they're like, yeah, but he kind of like just comes out whenever. And then he literally walked out. Hi, Iron Man! Call it a hunch, intuition. No, but... The fact that I saw you in line, what's important is that you're here. And I was right. But you did. Like, I literally came up and I said, is Iron Man, like, does he come out, like, around over here to say hello to people? And then literally the doors open and there you are. Like, with not You're even a, a, a second off beat. I see you have excellent taste. Thank you. Yeah, I do. I okay, if you were secretly a superhero, would you want to keep it secret or want the world to know? Huh, I mean, that's a good a question. I think I would want to keep it secret. Ah, one of the quiet ones. You want to know something? What? The quiet ones can be pretty amazing heroes. Thank you. I've never Look been... Look at us. I've we never... can't not get a photo. <laughs> yeah. I've never been called the quiet one in my whole life. So thank you. Question skipped. <laughs> what do we do? Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Pose like a hero. I'm improvising. Just go with it. Okay. We are the coolest. 
Walking with Purpose because I just saw on the app the Spider-Man show is about to begin. I cannot wait. It's literally an animatronic that flies through the air. Multiple shows throughout the day it takes place on the side of the Web Slingers building. Cool. Uh, what version is that? Whoa, I can see a roller coaster from here. Cool. Wow, that's a whole size pretzel. Okay, it's time for some field testing. Everyone, looking good down there. Wow, this is a friendly neighborhood. Welcome to Avengers Campus. This is a great place for a big speech. If I had anything important to say. It's time for a little Spidey exercise. Hey, what's going on, guys? Oh, me? Well, you know, just spider stuff. Okay, time to run some tests. Because it totally was. Oof! Ow! Planned that totally on purpose. Spider-Man! Oh, hey, Sharon! Shall we conduct an altitude test? Yeah, I guess I should do some work. Always good to have the data. Clear the runway! Spider-Man is the king for take off! Out. I meant the data. Yeah, I knew that. Hang on, I'll be right down. I bet this looks cool. Guys, it is time. I am so excited. We're riding Guardians of the Galaxy Vision Breakout. Tower of Terror is literally my favorite ride in Disney World, but it's mostly because of the theming. But I do love me some Guardians, and I hear this is just so much fun. Just like over at Cosmic Rewind in Epcot, this ride has six possible songs. Hit me with your best shot, give up the funk, Born to be Wild, I Want You Back, Free Ride, and Burn in Love. Oh my gosh. You start off with this insane statue of the collector. That is wild. Oh my gosh, wow, this is wild. My friends, you're one step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You are now standing in my private office. I know! Right, Carefully scrutinize each and every piece that comes to me from different parts of the galaxy that I grab. Let's mute this guy! Hearing your insistent slandering on a constant loop was big motivation for me to escape. I go, ouch! Ow! What was... That was not part of the plan! <laughs> what? <laughs> of course I escaped! For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket. One of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The smart one. Listen up. He's gonna put you on a gantry lift for your tour. I'm gonna sneak on top of your lift and take us all the way to the big old generator control room. I'm gonna blast that thing and destroy it all the control systems which will open up every cage in this freak show and free my friends our buddy mantis is in the getaway ship waiting for my signal and then we'll be on our merry way but this plan won't work unless you help i don't have clearance my hands don't scan yours do 
If you raise your hands, I get the clearance and the chaos begins. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan. It's so funny that the, there's no elevator countdown club and it's just the light instead and the gantry lift. It's just, I love actually that they did this. I love that there's differences so when you go to the different parks, you have so many new rides to try. You are mere moments away from your encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy, first time on public display. My dear friends, this is the moment you have been waiting for. That was so fun. We had an insane drop sequence. It was, I was so high in the air. That was great. Uh, it was hard to follow the story a little bit, but I mean, the, rock, like, the rocket animatronic is amazing. And I mean, everything looks really good. And then you have uh, all the songs and we got, what did we get? I, Born to be wild. Like, I'm, <laughs> it, was, it was so fun. I'm still a fan of Tower of Terror way more than this. I'm sorry, but I love this still, and it's it's totally different. It's just super fun and silly, um, and but it's it's awesome. If you don't like drop sequences, obviously it's not for you. But this was great. I think it's time to try out some Marvel food, and we're gonna head into the Pim Test Kitchen. Pim's Test Kitchen uses Pim particles to grow and shrink food. Look, there's the pretzels. They're small and they're going in the machine. And there they are. Now they're giant. That is amazing. Look how cool this is. They have the giant soda cans and it's connecting to the Coca-Cola freestyle machine. That is so cool. And then the giant ketchup and mustard, that's connected into the pumps for ketchup and mustard. What a clever idea. Here is our haul from the Pim's Test Kitchen. First up, this is the Atomic Pretzel Colon Salmon Poke Pretzel. Ponzu marinated salmon, sriracha mayo, avocado mousse, wasabi mayo, and watermelon radish. And then this is the Choco Smash Candy Bar. It's celestial size. It has dark chocolate, peanuts, caramel, nougat, chocolate brownie it looks amazing and it's so giant let's start digging in i really like that they give real forks and knives here because they serve a lot of pretzels and if you're splitting with people it's so hard to cut a pretzel with plastic cutlery but oh my gosh i'm gonna get myself a nice piece of all the stuff on it all right got a little bit of everything looks so good that, that is so good. I've only heard about like the giant Bavarian pretzel that they do. I've never heard anybody talk about this and this should be talked about way more. This is really good. Obviously the pretzel itself is, is good, but it has such great flavors in here. It's literally poke on a pretzel. Obviously if you don't like, su like sushi foods, you're not gonna like, really like this, but it's good. You get a nice, good flavor from the spicy mayo mixed in with what was this green sauce again? I think it's like a wasabi mayo. It's really good. The salmon tastes good. Like, you know, it's like, do you trust theme park to do raw fish? Um, you know, questionable, but I think, I think, yeah, it's good. I don't think I've ever had sushi in a theme park. I can't, well, I guess Epcot, but yeah, this is really good uh, and super unique and like needs to be talked about way more. This is like, oh, this is a whole meal. It's like not even a snack, it's a whole meal. I am obsessed with this, 100% put this on your must-do list. Let's try this Choco Smash, I opened it up. Here is the inside, so many different layers. This looks insane, you can see the brownie, the nougat, 
peanut butter, all of it. Let's give it a try. I'm already covered in chocolate, so I, I just, I don't want to be even more covered in chocolate, so I'm using a fork. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get sick. Oh my God. That's like if a Snickers and a Three Musketeers bar had a baby, and then the baby was just a giant baby. Um, wow, it's good. Uh, it's serious candy bar. And what's good is that it doesn't taste, like the, the actual chocolate is good and the, like the, all the different stuff. Because there's some candy bars that have a really bad aftertaste. Um, but this, this actually is like pretty good. And I really like that it's like real peanut butter in here. Uh, it's, it's a lot, but super cool, super shareable, just like so unique. Time to go on the other attraction here in Avengers Campus, Spider-Man Web Slingers. Tony Stark is the founder of Web to create advanced superpower technology, including new enhancements to Spider-Man's suit. We're here for their open house to test the new Web Slinger. Engineer Peter Parker. Contribution, Web Shooter is a multi-user delivery device for synthetic webbing. The brilliant, oh, Peter Parker. Hey, what's up, I'm Peter Parker. Here at Web, we got access to some pretty awesome tech like Vibranium from Wakanda or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have Tim Particle and Star Tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff like, um, like these spider bots, for example. Check it out, they have this really cool self-replicating feature. A big twist? Uh, this is awesome. Buddy, you can stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test the web slinger vehicle. Using onboard tech, you will be able to sling webs just like my buddy Spider Man. Peter, your presentation is getting away from you. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Sharon. If you could just initiate the safety protocols, it would be great. Problem with that, so anyway, Peter. If you want to sling a web, all you gotta do is sling your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web, and that's it. It's all. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate and are consuming everything in their path. They seem to be stuck in self-replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Don't call Mr. Stark. Sorry, you shout. Could you just call somebody else? Ask them to do it. Okay. Contacting Spider-Man. Um, I'm going to go find Spider-Man for us all because he's around here somewhere. Okay, good one. Spider-Man! But because they are stuck in self-replication mode, the Spider-Bots are currently consuming everything in sight and multiplying at an alarming rate. If left unchecked, my calculations predict this will lead to the devastation of the entire Avengers campus. This should be safe until Spider-Man gets here, as long as they don't get into the alien fluid. Activating threat level protocols. Hey guys, what's up? I hear you have a problem. I'm here to help. You made it. Great. Threat level is at exponential danger. You might need some help. Perhaps I'll call the Avengers? Don't worry, everyone. I got this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at everybody's lockers. The accounting office is where you pick up your 3D goggles. Let's do this. So here is the ride vehicle.
Okay, thank you. I literally love Loki so much. And this is so cool. We get to meet Captain Marvel. How cool is this? You can even meet Shuri's Black Panther as well. I would love to meet Black Panther, but this is the last show for the Doctor Strange show. It happens at night. People line up early. So we came earlier and it was like, we couldn't see a thing. So it came like a half hour earlier this time. And now I can actually see and hear what's going on. Someplace where Dormammu can't find it. And for that, I need a powerful relic from the cabinet of Kanavieros. This cabinet serves as a vault for some of the most powerful relics of all time. The wand of Watuma and the axe of Angarumus have at one time or another been hidden within. Well, one of you knows what those things are. <laughs> Congratulations, Gold Star. <laughs> we need the Sorcerer's Silk. The Astral Ring has a mind of its own, and it must be contained before it finds its way back to the Dark Dimension. And this silk will hide the ring, Dormammu. It's safe for now. I need all of you. No! I have to go back in time to recover the ring. Just stay where you are. I'll be back five minutes ago. <laughs> Attention. This is the astral ring 
It has more power than you can imagine, and Dormammu will do anything to get it. We need to hide it someplace where Dormammu can't find it. And for that, I need a powerful relic from the cabinet of Cunopy. You had one job, you guy, all right? Watch it. Who opened the cabinet? You did. Oh, wait, no, I remember now. Let me guess. The sorcerer's silk didn't work, did it? We need to try something else, or perhaps we can alter the ring's molecular structure and transform it so Dormammu can't recognize it. Bring me Balam's box of transformation. Now, this will allow me to manipulate the fabric of the ring's reality. By the power of the law. Punk. Renulum! Transformum! Flowers. It. That is not enough. And it won't be long before Dormammu realizes what we've done, which could lead him here to this ancient sanctum. I must harness spectral energy to create a spectral shield to protect this campus, ourselves, and the astral ring. But to create a spectral shield, we need this. The spectral staff. And where the staff is, I cannot say. It's. Ah, but to locate the staff, I'll need help. I will call upon the guidance of the Soul Seeker. Perhaps she can help us locate the staff. Come on, all seeing friend. I need your help. Many heroes throughout the multiverse, but all of her motives are as mysterious as the dark dimension itself. Oh, don't have time for games, my old friend. What? One day. She wishes to see you more closely. No sudden movements, okay, get it. This is very okay. Whoa, okay, that's good. She senses mystical wisdom amongst you, wishes for you to identify the hero that we need to locate the staff. She seeks a name. Be an eternal? Oh, no, no, not an eternal. Could it be a, a guardian of the galaxy, perhaps? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Could it be an Avenger? Oh, yes, yes, it is an Avenger. Excellent, everyone, quickly think of the name of an Avenger. When you have one in your mind, raise your hand. You. Yeah, you. Spider Man? Things don't tend to go very well between Spider-Man and I, but you know, let's find out. It's the Avenger we seek. Spider-Man! No, it's not Spider-Man. Anyone else? Uh, you, with the glasses, yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, yeah. Alright. It's the Avenger we seek. Iron Man! No, 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 not Iron Man either. Anyone else? Uh, you, you kid. Captain America, which one? <laughs> Rogers or Wilson? Rogers or Wilson? Rogers or Wilson? It's the Avenger we see. Captain America! Oh, no, no, not the Captain I think we're gonna need a bit of a hint here, my friend. What? That's a weird hint. Uh, she says the Avenger we seek is very handsome with godlike abilities. My friend, I think if it were me, we wouldn't be doing this process. Who do you think it is? Thor. Oh, Thor? Oh, no, oh, well, that's <laughs> all right. Alright, is the Avenger we seek Thor? Oh, yes, yes, it is Thor. Excellent. Seems there is indeed mystical wisdom amongst you after all. Fascinating. Alright, my friend, well, you have nobly fulfilled your purpose. And now it is time for you. Go back to sleep. That's right, back to sleep. There we go. Go, 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 go. Right. Get in there. Stay in By the power of the Vashanti, bring me the son of Odin!
Now, we have a very important mission at hand. I'm very good at this. Where is the spectral staff? The spectral staff. Where is it? Oh, uh, yeah, it's the spectral staff. The spectral staff. The Thor, do you even know what we're talking about? Of course, yes. Um, the stick. And, um, spectrally. Okay, so we don't have time for this, but this out of curiosity, where did you get this? Well, it was in the vaults of Asgard, actually. Um, I was a little thirsty, so I just grabbed something real quick. And, uh, you have been drinking out of the urn of the door? Um, so I've been drinking out of this beautiful mug that I found. That's what's talking about. Uh, Thor, if you need a drink, why don't you head on over to Pins? They have drinks much bigger than that. Bigger than you! Head on over there and have as much as you like. I have a tab open. <laughs> As much as I would like to say. Absolutely. Very <laughs> kind, Strange. Oh, you're welcome. Now, has anybody told you today just how kind and nice of a person you are? I don't get. Did you? Well, there's always tomorrow. One. Show up! <laughs> As I was saying, who remembers the name of this relic? No one, so no one's paying attention. All right, well, this is the urn of Boondor. Now, we just... Now you can applaud. stone with the urn of Undor. This should work. By the shield of Seraphim! together by creating a spectral shield like this. All of you, repeat the spell after me by the power of the Vashanti. We create the spectral shield by the power of the Vashanti. We create the spectral shield now all together with me by the power of the Vashanti. We create the spectral shield. We're ready. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. Keep it going. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. It's like this happens. Avengers more than they'll ever know. Just don't let it go to your head, okay, kid? <laughs> There's much work to be done in so little time, and the all-seeing eye of Agamotto guide you safely. Farewell.
going to end our night in Avengers Campus with Shawarma Palace. Let me tell you something, I eat shawarma quite often over by me in New York. It's a staple and uh, I, I've been wanting to eat shawarma in Avengers Campus for so long. So they have the New York's tastiest shawarma and then they have a pop, an impossible version as well. I am so excited. Also, they have the Infinity Gauntlet cup holder and the Thor hammer cup holder. Here is our chicken shawarma in the pita. If you have never had shawarma before, it's one of those meats where it's on a giant stick and they shave it down and it's spiced up and it's really good and I hope this is really good. And I feel like all of my dreams are coming true about eating shawarma in Avengers Campus. Let's do it. Let's do a little donkey donkey. It's okay. It's also chicken shawarma and like chicken shawarma is not my favorite type of shawarma because it's just kind of chickeny. This one, the chicken's like a little dry. I mean, they've, they've been sitting out, but like the sauce is good. It's not bad. I think if you never had shawarma, like, I don't know if this, I would say, honestly, I don't know if I would say, if you're here, try it. I mean, maybe, but if you find like <laughs> a Middle Eastern place where you can really get shawarma, try it there first, but it's not bad. It's edible. It has good flavor. It's good. It's just, uh, not like my favorite shawarma in the world but it's still it's it's pretty good well my dudes that was avengers campus my first time i had a great time i love meeting the characters the shows the rides the food is really good i just had the best time let me know what was your favorite part about the day have you been to avengers campus before what's your favorite thing to do when you come here let me know all of it in the comments below but thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to your bell notifications so you don't miss anything that goes to this channel follow me on instagram at magical hijinks check out the patreon become a patreon get a cool bonus content bonus live ask the discord help with trip planning a free dining guide to walt disney world by disney for foodies and so much more and you'll be helping me to continue bringing great content like this to this channel and until next time my dudes i hope you guys can do some hijinks very very soon bye, -bye.